Paul Sand had did a uh, episode for us very early on in the Mary Show, which he played an IRS agent who was auditing Mary's uh, uh, tax return, and it's finding reasons to continue to mull over her returns and keep coming back to it and come back to it. So that she was really worried that she was going to get nailed with huge tax uh, liabilities and things like that. And he was only doing it because he had fallen in love with Mary. And, uh, and finally, uh, you know, kisses her in, in the, at a, at a, at a, they're meeting in a coffee shop somewhere and kisses her and calls himself an animal and <laughs> what, just chastising himself and beating himself up about what he had done. And uh, Paul was so charming in that show. And uh, so funny, off the wall kind of comedian out of Second City in Chicago, and kind of good looking in an odd sort of way. And and we thought, uh, and Silverman said, it, can, can you figure out a way to make him a, a, a give him his own show? Uh, and so we did. We came up with this thing called Paul Sands and Friends of Lovers, in which he became, he he played a. a classical musician. He played the bass at the, at the Boston Symphony. And he was big, you know, he was always having to lug around this huge instrument. And uh, it was a better idea than, than it was executed. I mean, we... we uh, you think you were just overtaxed? We were overtaxed and, and not enough writers to go around. And uh, it did mark, I think, Penny Marshall's first uh, starring role in a in a television series. She oh, really? played she played the 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 wife of Paul's brother as a regular character. So that was the first that anybody knew that Penny Marshall could act. I think. 